Joe Son, known to some as Chemo's manager, returns to the Octagon tonight as a fighter. At 23 years of age, he is a student of Taekwondo and Judo, and the founder of his own system of martial arts, Joe Sando. Hi, my name's Joe Son. I'm from Huntington Beach, California. The Lord said, not by my might or my strength, but with my spirit, said the Lord. You guys will see the spirit of the Lord of Jesus Christ tonight. Well, he's definitely an unknown. Joe San. He founded his own style, known as Joe Sando. He is a man of God. A third degree black belt in Taekwondo. 23 years of age. Learned the martial arts from his dad beginning as a five year old. And look at this entrance, Jim Brown. Well, we saw it before with Timo. Now the master, the man who taught Kimo, is doing the same thing. The strange mixture of religion and fighting. I don't understand it. Frankly, Jim, neither do I. Neither do you. I think that part is a little heavy for him. Joe Son says, I love judo. I love the arts all the way around. I like the violence, the speed, the balance, and the timing. He says the martial arts are just like a video game, only you're doing it with your whole body, not just your thumb. Born in Korea, now from Huntington Beach, California, Joe Sun. He's 5'4", 236. Fire plug. His opponent, dangerous, in the art of karate. After a valiant performance in the third Ultimate Fighting Championship, Keith Hackney returns tonight representing White Tiger Kenpo Karate. Hi, my name is Keith Hackney. I'm from Roselle, Illinois. I train at Salviano's White Tiger Kenpo Karate in Addison, Illinois. And I'm back at UFC 4 to test my skills. Keith Hackney fought 600 plus pound Emmanuel Yarborough in UFC 3 and won his first round match, but he broke his hand and couldn't continue. He says the hand is sound. Well, he delivered 36 unanswered blows to the 600 pounder's head and did hurt himself in winning that bout. But he, he said the hand is ready. One has to question whether one can heal that quickly, but I'm sure he learned not to keep punching to the head. Well, actually, Jeff, it wasn't really broken. There was something wrong with the soft tissue. I don't think it was actually Spring. a break. Yes. But, Jim, you saw him pummel Yarborough, who was an imposing figure at 600 plus pounds, and Hackney was not intimidated. Well, the only thing that was intimidating about uh, Yarborough was his size, and most of that was blubber. He could not roll over. I did not think he was a real good uh, contestant. Joe Son is giving away seven and a half inches. He has the 35 pound advantage. Hackney's discipline, White Tiger, Kempo Karate. His sensei, Tom Saviano, developed it based on Ed Parker's Kempo system and incorporating karate and Northern Chinese Kung Fu. Well, the way I look at it is you either punch, kick, or seize. <laughs> so the heck with all the different disciplines, that's just the, the theory behind why you throw it. When well, you execute it, it has results. Well, you're a wrestler, see, so you know doggone well that you could go out there and beat them all, right? Oh, I don't know about that, Jim. <laughs> Standing by for the introduction of the fighters to the crowd. Well, Hack needs a striker with that reach that could give him an advantage. California, Joe Sun. Sun. And please welcome returning to the Octagon, a veteran of Ultimate Fight Championship Part 3, 5'11", 200 pounds, 36 years old. He holds his second degree black belt in White Tiger Kenbo Karate 
the giant killer from Roselle, Illinois, Keith Hackney. Hackney. So it's Hackney against Joe Son. John McCarthy, third man in the octagon. All right. Are you ready? Are you Last ready? minute instruction. Let's get it on, man. Here they go. Look for Joe Son to rush, maybe close the distance. Hackney, a superb kicker. Joe Son measures his ground. Hackney trying with the sweep. Joe Son reacted nicely. counter and now he's in command on the ground where he can utilize Joe Sando we saw Hackney get away from the 600 pounder when he got on bottom Watch your Watch your fighter. Hackney works his way to his stomach keep working it keep working it that lock keep isn't tight it's it. around an arm there's no way he can really be choking him here Keep working. He's just holding him down. I'm sure, Hackney's wondering what's he going to do, and he's really not following up with anything here. Keep working. Hackney trying to work that right hand free. He also tried to route right elbow to try to catch Joe San leaning over his side there. This is a wrestling hole. It's a front headlock. Hackney. Oh, now he's working the choke. He's got around. He's no longer around that arm. That's a little tougher. Those are rabbit punches. That's not going to really hurt Hackney. Hackney to his knees and now to his feet. Oh, a shot to the below the belt, but it's legal. And now Joe San backs him up against the fence. Good move by Hackney. Get back in the thing here, just walk And Hackney has punched very well before with his opponent on Let's the go, ground. On. And he lands to the midsection of Joe San. Keep working, keep working. Oh, oh the that is allowed in this competition, but that is brutal. Ah. Josan has not broken the lock yet. 2,000 right there. There it is. It's broken now. Watch for Hackney to strike. Hackney working the grappling techniques now on the ground. Although his discipline is White Tiger, Kempo Karate. God, he's got a hold of his trunks, too. Get your towel, watch it. Nobody's moving. He's tapping, he's, he's tapping, he's tapping, he's tapping out. He's choked him out. Joe Sun taps out. Hackney is the winner. Good job, good job. But I don't know if he's going to gain a lot of fans by his tactics. Oh, I don't, uh, in a no-holds-barred situation, there are no rules like that. There is no, no sentimental. Rules. He took advantage of it, and he's better than I thought he was. Hackney advances to the semi. And so Joe Son, who played a cat-and-mouse game all week, not talking to the press, goes out quietly. Well, I guess if you get hit to the groin about ten times, you'll have to go out. There's an early try at the sweep. And this is where Hackney made the mistake, extending in. Josan came right back and took him down, but he was unable to finish with any kind of ground attack. He got Hackney to this position, and here is where your opponent is vulnerable. Try to elevate your head, sit up on his chest, and deliver striking blows down or look for submission, and he did none of that. Whereas Hackney, on the other hand, he took full advantage. Yeah, this is where Hackney uh, just pummeled away, and uh, I, I can see you taking deep breaths at home on this. Hackney was 12 and 0 as an amateur boxer with 11 knockouts, but he is simply a karate specialist. Time.